Hello there. Welcome back to Prime Morning. And thank you, Ghani, who is the head of corporate affairs at the National Identification Authority. Thank you, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good All right. for having me. I think that... Registered over 16 million for now, and we have printed close to 16 million cards. And how the cards that have been printed, there's still a backlog of over 1 million cards mm. currently at the regional and district offices that are yet secure. <laughs> I mean, this 16 million is about 88% mm -hmm. of the adult population. And the adult population here refers to those who are 15 years and above. Okay. So if you go by the but everything good and offices, your yeah, workers, everybody. Do you have any challenges? No, so no, far? sure. I mean, they they have been challenges. Uh, if you recognize the fact that this is the first time, basically, have a state institution from Accra setting up a few zonal offices. They get to the regional level and then to the district level, and that takes them time. But from October, eight offices across Ghana, and sixteen regional offices so it means that in each of the regional capital of ghana we have been able to open. this has never happened but that is also because our services are needed mm. by all ghanaians irrespective of where they find them every ghanaian and that has been quite challenging because then it would have taken you time to find an office even when you get to the office it's not well spruced mm. up i think that our staff would work with greater ease, greater convenience, and people who attend to us. But so that basically has been one of those challenges. Okay. But, but the second challenge is to do with these backlog cards. To the extent that they continue out to be issued, move them back to where they are supposed to be, so on and so forth. And that is because people registered at certain places. Mm -hmm. But now that the cards have been stirred internally, and has moved to Accra, mm. for instance. You're asking the person to go back to Tamale for the person's card to be issued, and the person doesn't do so. So you continue to keep these cards, and that's clear. Around 1.5 million cards okay. currently sitting at the regional and the district offices yet to be issued. Okay. Um, I mean, up, up until I have all these long queues, as of, yesterday, as of Friday, I'd seen that there were some tall queues and some offices, what's the county? Yes, there? first of all, if you look at the adult population and if we have registered around, that's about 4 million. So that's still quite a huge number. So if you have 276 officers across Ghana and those people have to be registered, so for somebody who was 14 years last year, for instance, this year the person turns 15, that person qualifies to register for the smart identity card, the way you don't have people come to register for the Ghana card. Okay. And when we go down to age zero upward, it means that the numbers would even be more. Because yes. when a child is born today, that child is a Ghanaian. But that person can easily be assigned a personal identification number tagged onto you, the mother, or the father, or even the guardian. Okay. You know, so, so these are all measures that are being worked out and very soon to infinity. So registration is a continuous exercise. Mm -hmm. Now that we have opened the 276 offices, it means that we can- uh, Take me back to the newborns. How soon are you looking at implementing this? Uh, that should happen before the end of this year. There's okay. some work ongoing trying to collaborate with the Ministry of Health, to collaborate with the Ghana Statistical Service. The, we will put that out, but it should come before the middle of the year. The, uh, so the 276 district offices, was it an idea that you had already, or this came as a result of the deadline for the SEMCARI registration? No, Has no, it got it's, anything it's, to do with it's that? It's always been part of the plan. Okay. Um, we conducted mass registration for about two years, tended to populate what we call the national identification system. Okay. So to populate that means that once you went to every region, every district, you would have people come in very huge numbers to register for the Ghana card. If you achieve that, then you can continue to now leverage on that database identity. 
that is the best practice in the identity management space. So, okay. for instance, when we started in Accra, we had registered just a few people, and people were asking, your card is not being used, we, it's not being accepted here and there. But we couldn't do so. If you hadn't, then we have done more than 80%. Okay. Then the next phase then becomes the establishment of the regional and the district offices to provide what we call continuous registration. Okay. So that has always been the plan, okay. notwithstanding the fact that various state institutions date their own deadlines, so on and so forth. But we have consistently worked according to our plan. Mm. I hope you follow that. Mm -hmm. So with the 276 that we have established, these are permanent offices okay. that will continue to render identity management services to all Ghanaians, irrespective of where they are from. Great. Now that you've mentioned like, terms like um, double registration, does it mean literally what I understand, what double means? Yes. So double registration simply means attempting to register twice. Okay. So once your data is already in the system, mm. it means that it's not going to go through. It holds up both the first and the attempted. So I have quite a lot of people who would complain that they registered on so so and so date and up to date they've not yet gotten their Ghana cards. Right. But when those people come and we try to check their record in the system, that record doesn't even exist at all. Because the person tried registering twice. Okay. <laughs> you get what I mean. Okay. So, so the person tried registering twice. So we, once you've been flagged, then we now have to tell you that go and do the registration again. Or else you never get your card. Okay. So, and it will mean that the person would have to, there's no point they can pick up on. They would have to start entirely from step, step one. Yes. So, so that means that we are adjudicating on that because mm. that is fraud in itself. Okay. And we can choose to prosecute and ignore it. Okay. So, so when you draw our attention to it, then that's when we will tell you that, you know what, go and do the registration again. Okay. So a simple um, explanation will be that the first time you attempted registering in Tema. Exactly. And then maybe you didn't receive your card. And then, then you, you go that try to register again. In Accra somewhere. Yes. Okay. So it will take your, your data out of the system entirely. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So the time you try to do any registration again, the system will flag you mm. as having registered before, having tried registering the second time or probably even tried registering the third time okay for persons like an example that she gave a person who may be registered in tamale yes. and has relocated to accra and the card is ready ready in tamale the person is unable to go to tamale if the person walked to the uh, maybe a district office near them in accra and is willing to pay for a printout will that be difficult no um new registration for instance mm. we are also printing cards for persons who have lost DS. So, that, so they have registered already, obtained the Ghana cards, but it's lost mm -hmm. or it's misplaced. Mm -hmm. So most of the cues that you find, for instance, at our headquarters, it's not just persons coming to do new registration, but there are also people who have lost their cards and they have come for those cards to be replaced. Okay. So if you're going to have another service where people in all persons to go back to where they registered, find the NIA office in that particular district, go there, and your card will be issued to you. And I've always used this analogy. There have been very few places where one can go and register and obtain a Ghana passport, for instance. And when you have gone there, they've taken your details and what's not, you make time to go back there for the passport to be issued to you. Is the same level of importance point where if you do not have a Ghana card, you will basically not be able to do anything that requires the establishment of your identity. Thank you for that gentle reminder <laughs> that we are prioritizing our passports over this. But before the uh, the um, before you open the 276 districts of these new districts. You don't, do you have to go to exactly where you did the registration or because you, 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 you need to find our office within the district. Okay. And the first point of call will be the, the district assembly because most of our offices are located within the premises of the district, the municipal or the metropolitan assembly. Okay. Because we collaborated with them to locate it 
within the assembly, but you go there, they'll be able to point you to where the NIA office where is. Where you can pick up so, your so, so, so that's very simple. Okay. And we've put this out over and over again. Notices of the locations, phone numbers of individuals manning these offices that you can call and whatnot. And that's on our website, that's on our social media handles. We've issued press releases. Oh, she doesn't have access to press releases. How would she know? Yes, so that's why I said all of these other avenues. Okay. You, you found these notices there. Okay. And that also means that, in my case, I will tell my mom where the office is. So you should make that effort to inform whoever needs our service that we are located at such and so okay. place. Let's go back to when you were in that way, you know, in hospitals, elderly people, people were not able to go to the centers. What special service did you do? And even during the mop-up, and even now more than ever, what still special services? Yeah, so doing? for mass registration, we gave special consideration mm. to the physically challenged, basically. So if you, these people could be seated and priority attention was given to them. Beyond mass registration, we have continued to do so. So at the regional and the district offices, for instance, all our officers have been informed. They understand the protocols. So when the agent and the physical challenge turn up at these centers, they are what we call the household registration. Okay. So you can sit in your home, for instance, and call the NIA to come and register you to the extent that you are five people okay. in that household and above, and each person pays an amount of 150 Ghana cities. So if you have a father, a mother, for an NIA district office can be extremely difficult. Just put some four other people together in the home. You are up to five. Oh. Invite NIA, and NIA will come with our registration officials to register the five people there. And each person pays just 150 cities. That is better compared to the inconvenience of moving that person to the district mm. office, all right? And you would have put up the 50 Ghana cities will be enough to conduct the household registration. Okay. But we also have institutional registration. So institutional registration, multimedia, you put your staff together, you sit right here, maybe you are so busy, you can't go to our district office to go get registered, mm. and then you invite us. We will come and conduct institutional registration, okay. but this person pays 100 Ghana cities. Yeah, just 100 cities. Okay. So that, again, would be better than having to move your car to the district office of NIA mm. to go queue and to register. That's, so okay. if the 50 people can, each person can pay 100 cities, why not? Okay. Yeah. A bit more practice person. One person is from Tamale, the other person from Tema. They're not from, a, a one, they're not from one location. Can one person just mobilize since they're more than five? Can one person just mobilize and then the registration will be done at the hospital for? Yes. So, and of it's course, not a walking service. It, I mean, I mean we, we receive these applications on a daily basis. Okay. And on those humanitarian basis or something of strategic national importance, for instance, he has had to take that into consideration. And given they have patients in there, deadline for SIM card re-registration is approaching, mm. yet they too have to go through that process. That's a special case. So once it goes to the executive secretary, he can easily give approval to that effect. Twitter, you can just hashtag ask the NIA or hashtag Prime Morning. And also on Facebook, you can ask all of your questions. I've seen a few of your questions. I'll be asking uh, Abdu, Abudu Abdul Ghani, who is the head of corporate affairs from the National Identification Authority. So a question from um, a, a person who... It's a simple affidavit okay. and a gazette. So if the person wasn't married, for instance, mm. at the time the person registered, now the person has married, the person wants to add the husband's name to her name, then all she has to do is to go get an affidavit mm. and extend that to lead to the printing of a new card, then the person will pay an amount of 30 Ghana cities. Okay. You follow that? Right. right. Now, if a divorce, for instance, has also happened and the person wants David again, and the Gazette, mm. so any time there must be any kind of change to one's name, mm. 
you need an affidavit and a gazette. That's what the law says. Okay. So, so once those changes... To the questions on social media, what's the process if you, if you lose your card until the... Yeah, so the, the process if you lose your card. So the card is misplaced yes. or it's lost completely. You cannot find it. You need to go to the police station report okay. and the card again will be replaced at a cost of 30 Ghana CDs okay. because a new card has to be printed. Okay, do you go through all the form filling and all of that? Or no, no, it's a, it's a very simple process. Okay. I mean, that would be much more shorter than if you went for a new registration because your record, the, the extract right. and then approval is given and a new card is printed for you. Okay, students are the second cycle institutions. School is in session. Do you have any special arrangements for them? Yeah, so again, the GES can simply engage us all the time. But at the same time, we have our regional and district offices. So wherever a particular secondary school is, you would find an NI office within that district as okay. well. So school authorities can agree. Mm. For instance, a particular time of the day and our arrangements that can be put in place to ensure that they get their cards. Okay, time now to take questions uh, from our viewers. So now when Bayere, I'm not sure if I got the name. <laughs> now Bayere, uh, please in Swatere. I have followed up till date. I was told last week when I got to the registration center, at the Slate building, my card could not be found. I was, I was asked to leave my details, but time is running. I called and I was told to try Accra head office. What kind of try and error is this? Please, I need help. Yeah, so th those records have continued to come from okay. the regional and the district offices. And when we go through the reclaiming, for instance, what we is may... That? What is yeah, that? Yeah, so, so the, the reclaiming is you could have as being displaced. Uh, not misplaced. So a card that is supposed to be at Sunyani, for instance, probably Sakra. You understand? So when we get that record, we are able to retrieve it. Then the individual will be informed through the district office. Then those cards will be sent there. So this is a continuous process. It, it, okay. it's, it's a reclaiming process that, that, that continues to take place. So for now, when Bayre he or she definitely has to come to our crime. Not, 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 not. Okay. I mean, he's, uh, she's left the details mm. with a district office. So the district office surely would bring that to Accra. Okay. And Accra, after finding the card, would inform the district okay. office and those cards are sent there. Okay. Let's go to uh, Christian GH. It says that I tried to link my card to my mobile uh, number and I get a message that the card is not validated. I've called the NIA uh, call center severally and there's no response. What should I do, please? Yes, um, um, th th that's a challenge that keeps coming up and anytime we have rechecked the Ghana card for instance understand that so when you talk about validation it could just be that it the, uh, the barcode for instance is cannot be read that's that's quite possible and when we establish that we are able to print a new card mm. for the person and in some instances you would find data not being on the card from the telecos end but when we checked our system the NCA attention, the technical attention to it, the kind of machines we are using to read the cards, for instance, that fault could also be coming from that. Mm. I mean, if you use a very strong iPhone, for instance, sometimes you are able to read it so easily. So, so, so that's a kind of system or infrastructure that they have to check because when most those cards are brought to NI, we are able to establish that there's really no problem with it. Okay, for, for, for Chris Entry, it won't be a call. He has to go to the office then. Read it at the NIA's office, then it becomes a problem with the telecos and not NIA. If we are unable to read it and we establish that there's really a problem with the card at mm. NIA's end, we can print a new card for okay. him. Okay, so this person is asking, you say Eugene Brooks 2000 says that I completely don't have a card, a Ghana card. Where can I get it done and how much are they taking? And this will be highly dependent on his age or what the price is asking for. Yeah, him. so first of all, um, how old is he? Is he 15 and above? Okay. Then he's eligible for NIA mm -hmm. and he'll be registered for the Ghana card. Go in there, he should take his birth certificate or his passport along together with his Ghana Post digital address. Okay. And once he goes to the district office, he doesn't pay anything. 
So if he goes there and someone asks for money, he should simply say he knows registration for the Ghana card is free. Who registered in 2019 and haven't received their cards, can they register again or what should they do or what should we do to get our cards? As so, for so if they try <laughs> that, that's double registration. Right. So the person has to wait until he or she's told exactly what the problem is. If he calls the call center, for he has to do the registration again. Until he gets that, any attempt to register again is double, and that would simply complicate the matter. Okay, so do not attempt re-registering again. Um, Isaac Akansisa says that, I registered at Cape Coast during the mass registration, and I still have not received my card. So how do I get my card? Since my district office is always telling me uh, it's not telling me anything, but just to go and come later. Well, I, I don't know the last time he went to the district office. Okay. But, for instance, as he indicated, he was told that the, the card was in Kumasi. So that's clear to move the card to Cape Coast. Cape Coast. Coast. Yes. So but what, goes in the, what goes into the reclaiming process? Yeah, it's a technical process. Wow. Every card that is registered comes with its location and what we call the center number. So all of these are in the system where the technical people are able to go into it to ensure that cards goes to when your personal identification number, we are able to tell where the registration took place, which center it took place, and for that matter, which district, you, you get me? So when you have a pool of cards, you are able to then move them to their respective districts physically to ensure that at the end of the day, all cars are supposed to be where they are supposed to be. Okay. Uh, time now to open the phone lines before I go back to the messages. You can join in with your questions and if you want any clarity, any challenge, please call us on 0302-211-STAY-NIA. And so I've got one question also from Al-Hassan. Al-Hassan al -Hassan says that, please, I am from San Nerigu Municipal of Tamale. I wanted to ask how, I wanted to know where I can do my replacement of NIA card. Hmm. Yeah, for, for, for now, replacement is piloted at the regional offices. Okay. So also of next week or thereabout, we could start doing card replacement at the district level. Hmm. So if this person is lucky to be in Tamale, then he can go to the regional office. Okay. That's where, the, where we have the regional coordinating council okay. for going there. Okay. Let's go to uh, Cape Coast and talk to Elinam. Hi, Elinam. Hi, MFA. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for calling us. Please go on. Mm. I'm calling from Cape Coast. I think I registered my Ghana card here, and then it got missing. I went for the place. Hello. Hi, yes, we can hear you, Elinam. Okay. I went to the police report and then I took it to GRA. Anytime I go there, they keep on telling me I should come the following month and then they are not yet doing the replacement of card. What are you doing at GRA? Um, I heard that that is where I'm supposed to okay. go there. That's where replacement services are taking place now. Elinam, did you hear that? Yes, please. Right. So uh, find the regional office and then go there. That's where the replacement is happening, okay? Regional Office of NIA. Yes, yes. Right. yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Elena. Let's go to Amasama. I've got a call. I didn't get your name. Uh, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Thank you for registration. Mm -hmm. I got my card about three days later. Okay. Up until now, it's been over two years. She, she still hasn't gotten her. Okay. And what have you been learning or finding? Listen, we live about two minutes walk away from the Gan West Municipal Center to come back there again. Why when, not? When they have a card, they will call it. Okay. And this registration is all, uh, almost ending. Okay. All right. Um, this is a tough one. Would you want a few follow-up questions? It, it, yeah, so uh, it's the same problem. It means that the card is not... It is possible that a card is at a particular 
location mm. rather than where it is supposed to be. Okay. So once we get the details, we are able to establish that. Okay. Um, if you want, I can take this up um, maybe off air if my number can be given to, or if you can call back. Mm. For instance, we can check that by this morning. If you're able to call back again, we'll be able to give you a special service uh, from the head of corporate affairs, particularly for this case. And so we've got uh, Simon as well from Kumasi. Hi, Simon. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. Thank you for calling. Uh, I am a different from Simon. Okay. I have a problem with my card. What could that be? During during the match, uh, the name a different point. Instead of the different point, one P, they made it double P. Okay. So I tried to link uh, my 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 number to. Uh, 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 they said they will. Uh, uh, they, they will do announcements so that I will come and then uh, have a change of the return. So I don't know whether, uh, when, when are they going to start that one? Okay, okay. and he's calling from... Where you come on. So if he was in Accra, for instance, he could have just come to the headquarters and that correction would be done. Okay, but so for correction, even if you didn't register in Accra, you could bring your car to the headquarters? Exactly. And then you can get exactly, help. exactly. Okay. Even replacement services, you can come to Accra and get it done. Ah, okay. updates, you can come to Accra. So at the headquarters, we are doing everything, but at the regional offices, we have just started. For this gentleman, he probably has to wait until those services start in the Ashanti region and all other regions. I've got a follow-up question on that. But, but if it's so agent, then he has to come to Accra. Okay. for the correction to be done. Okay. Simon, yes. it looks like you have to be on your way to Accra. <laughs> We've got another calling us from Yendi. Yes, please. How's Yendi this morning? Yendi is very fine. My okay. regards to uh, my brother, Abdul Ghani. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Somebody says good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please go on. Yes. Uh, my, my question is that I've already been registered since 2019, and I happen to go to the place. Thank you. Hey, Brian, please come again, on, come again on that. Um, what I'm saying is that I've already been registered okay. and I have my NIA card with me. Okay. But I need to change some names oh. in the names contained on the card. Okay. okay. So I need to know the a gazette. Okay. And then he comes, the correction or the, the change is done, mm. and then he pays 30 Ghana CDs. Okay, how are you able to identify that this is just a name change and it's just a correction? Like the Frimpong who needs to just take another P off and yeah, the woman so, who So it's very simple. In, in Frimpong's case, there are documents that he brought okay. to do the registration. Okay. It could have been his birth certificate. Okay. It could have been his passport, for instance. So the name on the birth certificate or passport is different from what is on the Ghana card. Then okay. that's a simple case of correction. Okay. okay. You understand? Okay. Let's go yeah. to Tama and talk to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Okay, thank you for calling. Please go on. Uh, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you very soon, And you're is calling this? us from Tema. Yeah, uh, Tema, yeah. Come is this your first time? I'm at Tema from the tree. Okay, but is this your first time ever wanting to register for is one? It? Is this your first time wanting to register for one? Yeah, yeah, this is my first time. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, all the constituencies, Tema West, Tema Central, to my east we have offices there okay yes okay so yeah please that's easy daniel you can you can get one let's go let's go to volta region and talk to pk I'm uh, hi hi good morning uh, good morning madam thank you for calling which part of water region uh, are you calling us uh just a quick one uh mine has to do with um updates and um they, we were given opportunity to go online to book for appointments okay apparently i've booked consistently for twice and they keep on um suspending the, the exact day they are starting the updates of information and are they going strictly to the uh, appointments that we book online because i've booked twice my next appointment date is much um somewhere my date here for so uh, so i just want to find out whether the appointment is still yeah, good You're calling us from Kumasi? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I want to ask, do you have any category of people when they go to the, to the registration center? They don't, they don't have to join the queue. Do, do we have that? Do you have... Pregnant women. Pregnant women and all of that? Do you but fall under any of that category? 
because last week I was there. Mm-hmm. And my head was down. So I was there. And this, this very old man came there. To be honest, it was, I don't know, it was awful. Oh. Hey, go, go, go. I, no, no. To be honest, I didn't stand it. So I, Did this happen? The regional office. The regional office in Pumasi. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Thank you for drawing our attention to this. Okay. Okay. So we've got perpetual as well, Alice. And then I still remember uh, the booking of appointment and updates, but let's go to Westland, especially because yes. it's very close. Yes, yes. Let's talk to perpetual. Hi, perpetual. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, perpetual. I'm Kaden. So I now want to. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. So I now want to register the MTN SIM card. But whenever I go to the MTN office, they keep telling me my name, my surname has a problem, but it was told correctly to. I want to find out what the problem is. Exactly. Okay. So she should be checking at the time she was obtaining the, the same card. card. Uh, so once there's inconsistency there, it will not go through. Okay. So it means that that change has to be done. And where okay. would this change happen? If there's yes. a different So, so um, she has to be able, if, if the name on the Ghana card is what her true, then the teleco have to change that record in their system to reflect the name on the Ghana card okay. before it can go through. You, you, you follow me? Okay. Right. See, the Ghana card is your unique identity. Yes. So everything is bricked. That represents you. That is who you are. Then the next thing becomes the telecos ensuring that they have that name. Is that okay? That Whatever is name that card. is yes. on the Ghana card. Okay. So once that is established, then the linkage should go through. Okay. But anything should, that's where the problem is. Okay. I'm told that Marvin is back on the line. Hi, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's let's update. Let's go back to the update issue mm. uh, where the person tried to book an, uh, an appointment. Generally, what is an update in terms of registr registration? But let's go back yeah, to Marvin. So, 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 I apologize. Okay, okay. Oh, Hi, Marvin. Hi, Marvin. So, uh, kindly mute to the television and listen to me on your phone. I'm, I'm listening. Great. Marvin, yeah. So, uh, we wanted to give you some special assistance, especially with your daughter, uh, if okay. you could stay on the line and then leave your number with us. But I'm told you have a follow up question. Daughter, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So, for generally, what would be an update? Yes. Yeah, so, an, an, an update is any record mm -hmm. that you have given to us. But your circumstances at some point have changed and you have decided that you must change that record to reflect your present circumstances. And I'll give you a few examples. So one, your digital address, for instance, has changed. And that was one of the requirements for registering for the Ghana card. So you have moved places. Let's say Adenta, now you are living at Achimota. Okay. Or just even a stone throw from where you lived earlier. Mm. That surely has caused a change to your digital address. So you can easily come to NIA, and NIA will update that record for you. But that one will not lead to the printing of a new card. Okay. Because it doesn't appear on the card. Okay. But it's just part of the information or the data that we keep about the applicant. Okay. I, I hope you follow that. Yes, booking appointments. Yeah, this? so the, the booking of the appointments happens at the headquarters where we are rendering all these services, the new registration, the updates, replacements, so on and so forth. So in order to manage the queues there, we introduce an appointment system where people can go online and do their booking. Mm. But a gentleman who called was calling from the Volta region. I was yeah. wondering how he made that appointment, unless, of course, he made the appointment, but to That's travel. Online. Yes. So he made the appointment, but to travel from, let's say, Volta region to Accra to come and seek that service. If that is the case, I understand it. Because in the regions, as I indicated earlier, it is only replacement services. Mm -hmm. oh? you, you get that? They don't do corrections for now. But very soon, we'll move that down to the regions and to the districts. Okay. So, so that's, that's, that's what has to be understood as okay. far as appointment is concerned. Okay, so until then, PK would have to come to Accra, the head office, to yeah, be able if, to do the update. Exactly, I okay. mean, to be able okay. to do the update. Um, so on Twitter, Mr. K 
Karik says that, uh, please, there's an online registration. Um, there's a way that you can download the form, even if you provide some information that can be printed, brought to the NIA, mm -hmm. and then you can still go through the registration process. But that means that once you come, you still have to be interviewed by the registration officials. Because at all times, we people who are not supposed to be on the database to okay. be on it. Okay. So, so that interviewing process is extremely important. So people should not think that oh, once you download the form, fill it, you come, it should be an easy go. No, the rigorous interviewing process that we will subject you to is what would establish whether you are truly a Ghanaian or not. The Ghana card is the requirement for the subcard registration with all the challenges, knowing that updates and all other services, it's not happening at the regional offices and all of that. Is the NIA able to make a case for Ghanaians who have not been able to, you know, solve all the challenges around their Ghana card for an extension? Yeah, maybe when we get there, I mean, let's, let's cross it. That creates the opportunity for people to register for the Ghana card and seek all these other services. Mm. So today on the front page of the Ghanaian Times, yes. you find the beautiful picture of my executive secretary. Yes. And the caption, the NIA opens more centers. So, so this is a typical example. So we have open for stadium at LWAC. You are going to have 15 points for enrollment, for mm. instance. So you can imagine all the people who will turn up there and will be able to attend to them. So you go to Cape Coast, the regional fire service office, mm -hmm. at the regional office, Takradi or the Sports Stadium is the same thing. So, so these are ways that we will continue to introduce just to be able to contain the numbers ahead of the 31st of, of March. March. But by the time we get there, we will all review the figures at the telecoast end. The NCA is the driver mm -hmm. or the implementer of this new registration, the SIM card registration process. That an extension should be given or not. Okay. I've got another question coming from Pap Mingo. It says that there was an error in the year of birth in uh, the year of birth during mass registration. I don't know if I can still do the SIM re registration. He's unable to answer questions on SIM re registration, but essentially he's trying to say that he had a date of birth problem. Uh, on his Ghana card. He's asking if you'll be able to use it to do SIM card registration. Yeah, so simply go and get that you would have brought us your birth certificate or your passport, which has the correct date of birth there. So that is hassle free, mm. if you ask me. So once we get into the system, we are able to pull out the correct date. You really do not need a card physically, but you need just the, the pin the code or the number, your special ID that's on the card to be able to go about your activities peacefully? Uh, not at all. Not I mean, so. um, the, the chip that is embedded on the Ghana card, okay. for instance, contains all that information and all that data. And, and or else somebody can just pick your PIN, your personal identification number, and go through a certain process of seeking a service. So it's important that we continue to issue the Ghana card. Um, apart from that, there's what we call UCLA inspection. So look at the picture on the card, and I see you, MFA, standing right in front of me. And that's enough. That's another way of verifying you. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be understand. Okay. So like somebody gets in into this premises, you invited Abdul Ganyu. Mm -hmm. So I come here, you want to prove that I'm real. <laughs> okay. right. so, so, so I just show that to you and okay. you find my picture boldly on it and you allow me in. Okay, so if I woke yes. up today and look at the picture on my Ghana card and I don't think it's, it's too beautiful, I want to come and change it. Yeah, you can do an I update. I can do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So obviously that update can be done so okay. that the photo will be retaken. Okay. Yeah. You can still send in your questions. I can still keep him here for a while. So 0302. 211-693 or 94 or send us a message on Facebook or on Twitter, hashtag Prime Morning, and then we'll take all of your questions and comments. I'm quite curious about uh, during the mass registration. Register, because it's also a mandatory requirement. Okay. So once you were coming to register, you needed either your birth certificate or passport, and then you add the Ghana Post digital address, mm. because that was a mandatory requirement as well. Okay. Yeah. So um, I know that you've increased the numbers. We have 200 because maybe you really live 
very far away from where the district offices, where you have maybe um, the NIA workers go to rural communities. I'm talking about rural, real rural communities. Yeah, so that, that all will depend on capacity as we move along and the 16 regional capitals that we have. So clearly, as we go along, and if we are able to increase our stuff, for instance, mobile registration can easily take place. Okay. So mobile is just moving registration materials and machines with personnel moving from one okay. and above. Okay. Obviously, the numbers are going to be more in that regard. So I believe eventually we should be able to do that. Okay, yes. so it's not that um, it's not that at the moment we are overwhelmed and that would want Senate would want your Ghana card for you to link it for your Ghana card number now to become your Senate number. GRE wants it. So it's a whole lot that puts so much pressure on NI at the moment. Okay. But as we go along, we'll surely continue to expand. Okay, I'm only asking because the defense is just around the corner. Uh, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is also quite almost three years now. I haven't received my card despite all efforts. I went to the head office and I uh, was told to go to the district assembly in the area in which I did the registration. I went there and after a long queue, I was told my Ghana card wasn't there. I attacked at the head office said some cards are being cleaned. How long does it take for those cards to be cleaned? I'm just getting cleaned. my card... Is even I'm just guessing my card is not even part. Uh, but the big question is, where is my Ghana card? I've been to the office in a district since September uh, to date, but I still do not have my card, or it's not being found. Um, I told you, you what going. I told you what the challenge was and what has been done. Mm. Uh, so, for instance, when he he said here that he was told the card was being reclaimed, okay, that it means that the reclaiming process has ended so it is very much possible that a card has now been moved to where it is supposed to be so you should check one more time okay okay so what well, no but i'm sure that because it was over the lane but you said in september uh where that's about four or five months now yeah, sure. there have been more offices that have been added and all of the services have been improved so go back again exactly. and then check you just might have your card so i mean the, the reality is that people really live far away. Mm. I know that we are looking to, you know, to six district offices. What, again, we'll be doing for persons that really live far away. Far, far, far. Like, far, far, far. People who live at places called Domiabra. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. They have to access these registration centers that have been created. The registration points. And as I indicated, if you go to each registration point, that is almost like having... 15 officers working within the stadium. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand them at a particular place. Then we are talking about basically having about 15 officers all working at the same time. So that should be able to ease the pressure and give opportunity for a lot more people to get registered. That first is still more than 30 days to the target on the part of the NCA, okay. but if we do not reach that, I know that every Ghanaian should be able to continue to use his or her SIM card. So a new card uh, in 24 hours, if you paid 500 Ghana CDs, you can get this. 500? And also, yeah. And there's then nowhere. Week, there's nowhere. There, there's nowhere anyone pays 500 Ghana CDs for a Ghana card. Okay. Even at the premium center, it's 250. Ghana cities, registration at all other places, okay. regional office, district office, these five registration points that we have created, apart from the Elwak Sports Stadium, which is going to be a premium center, registration at all other places remains free. Okay. Okay, so this information was shared on Twitter. So you should just 24 hours, 500, one, one week. Is 350 and then replacement mm -hmm. is 250 and even when i had to put requirements for a new one you need a valid ghana photo id and for replacements you also need a police extract uh, this information <laughs> well i really don't know where this mm. misinformation <laughs> is, is coming from i mean if the person has gone to a particular place where officials asked him to pay this money 
you should be able to tell us which district office. Okay. And that's a matter we will be able to take up because okay. registration at the district offices is free. No one is supposed to charge you or take any amount of money from you. Okay. So it is only at the headquarters that a premium charge of 250 cities is charged for people coming to the headquarters to uh, some friends of mine visiting me in the studio uh, the deaf association uh, the, the the committee members and the advocates and then i was wondering do you have any service like a particularly for deaf and even blind people who want to have registration yeah those are all special, special circumstances needs, okay. and that comes down to the discretion of the board as well as the executive secretary okay. so they should put that into writing Oh, okay. Mm. It's at the discretion of a card. Mm -hmm. Would you, if a person wanted to do a photocopy of their card and keep the original one at home and walk about with a photocopy? Well, that depends on whether the service provider would or accept a photocopy. For NIA, we don't accept any photocopy at all. Everything. That's for the registration, right? For registration, okay. for instance. So, so every document you bring to us must be original. Okay. So that are relying on the Ghana card and they can accept a photocopy uh, that's well up to them. Mm. I, I'm not in a position to tell that. But as much as possible, just carry your Ghana card with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in absence of any questions on social media or maybe phone calls, maybe I'll take your final words and then... Yeah, yeah. so final words, I keep emphasizing the need for people to have open from today. And most of the queues that you find at the districts and the regional offices, for instance, should ease. So this is coming to complement that. And we believe that in the next couple of weeks, we should be able to register a lot more people. And then people who need card replacement services can have at the moment. And very soon we will go down to the district level. And as much as possible, people ought to be patient also with the NIA. Mm. I think that what we have done has been very remarkable, if you understand our history as an institution. And we have finally gotten to a point where everybody now sees the success of the National Identification System project. But we recognize that there are challenges and we surely continue to improve in order to be in a position. Just to let you give us a quick one from a <laughs> super clash on Twitter at mm. Prince underscore being mm. says that, please, I live close to Registrar General, but I did my card within Adabraka in 2019. And unfortunately, my district is closed. Uh, could you, is it district office closed? Well, yes, I mean, I mean, as in close to where he lives. Okay. I believe. Yeah. Well, so could you believe I have literally been walking to the district office for since and I am always told the card is not ready. I am stressed like uh, the Marvin's child, the daughter who hasn't received hands in so many uh, years. Okay, so it's been telling you to take to, to have some patience. As yeah, I mean, if, if the card is not ready, you should be able to tell him what the Why? reason is. There could be many other reasons. Yes, um, yeah, so the reason is important. And if that has to be corrected immediately, then we are able to do so. So I would advise that next time he goes there, he should insist on knowing what the reason is. Why has the card not been printed? If a person feels untreated, uh, feel, uh, treated unfairly and it's not satisfied with certain service and all of that, where can they channel their displeasures? Yeah, we have our contact center and, and concerns can always reach the contact center. Um, but one thing I can assure is that in terms of our part as management, we've given these staff the needed training, especially on customer service. Uh, most of them are people we have worked with before during the mass registration. So they understand our values, they know the principles behind what we do and all of that. But of course, I do appreciate that still, you are going to have cases where people are not treated well. The lady who called from Kumasi, for instance, was yes. complaining about how somebody was basically shouting on her and all of that. So these things will happen. We are a human institution. And every now and then when we receive those complaints, we have brought people to book. Mm. So we'll continue to improve. Okay. We don't have a perfect system, but 
we continue to do our very best, put ourselves in a position where we continue to serve the good people of this country well. Okay. If you joined the queue and then you're maybe doing a replacement for that 30 Ghana cities and all, do you pay at the NI office or you pay at the bank and bring the slave in and all of that? How's the payment done? Yeah, so um, you can pay. We have Cloud Bank. Check, okay, pay but for the district for offices for certain of services. So, so the district office for now, those services have not begun. Okay. So it's just new registration. And that is why I continue to insist that you don't pay anything at the district office. Okay. So if you go, it's just somebody that you are giving money. Mm. That is not an NIA service demanding a charge mm. from you. And I believe they are not able to issue you with a receipt, for instance. Okay. Right. So that should tell you that that registration there is for free. Okay, yes. okay. All right. Thank you so much, Abudu Abdul Ghani. He is the head of corporate affairs at the National Identification Authority. This has been good. I hope that we've been able to answer a few of your questions. I promise that few days to 31st, if there's still more clarity. Thank you very much for having me. This day, this has been Beyond the Headlines. My name is MFA Kusia Adeti. That's more on Prime Morning.